No way. <laughs> oh, snap. This is a newer reel. <laughs> Holy. Okay, so here's a closer look at the watch, guys. If you know what type of watch this is, please comment down below. Hey, yo, folks, what's going on? Welcome to the Fishing Norm YouTube channel. Comment day is popping up down below, so make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and the bell. Leave a comment down below on this video for your chance to be next video's comment of the day. Before we get started, I just wanted to thank you guys for 100,000 subscribers. I probably should have done this earlier, and I didn't want you guys to think that I wasn't thankful for it. It's just numbers, as cheesy as it sounds, doesn't really mean all that much to me. I'm just enjoying the process of filming fishing videos, getting to travel, just really enjoying it that no matter how many numbers I have, I'll still be happy doing this. So thank you guys guys so much for 100,000 subscribers. For all you guys who are watching my videos, commenting down below, love talking with you. For all of you who have been subscribed for however long you've been subscribed, for those of you who like the videos, share it with your friends. I really do appreciate it, and I know I don't say that enough, but you guys are seriously like the best subscribers on YouTube. I really appreciate you. But besides that, guys, today we're actually going fishing with some subscribers. They took me out to a lake, so today I'm taking them to some of my ponds, and we're going to do some fishing chase after some big bass today. I'm super excited for that. But that leads me to the sponsor of today's video, which which is Carl's Bait and Tackle, guys. If, if you want to save up to 30% on fishing tackle, make sure to use my link down below so you can do so. I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to have tied on real quick, though. So right here, we got a rattle trap. I absolutely love the rattle traps, and I get to save 30% off on these guys. So I definitely have stocked up on the gold ones, silver ones, red ones, and then like shad powder ones for this fall. Those are my four favorite colors. And then I really do want to try throwing this jig around today. This is a heavy metal tungsten flipping jig. And as a trailer for those, we're gonna use the Bass Pro Shops Green Pumpkin Orange Glitter Zoom Speed Cross right here. Without further ado, folks, let's go ahead, get to the pond. I'm super excited to go rip on some fish. Let's go. Oh, that's him. Yeah. Got him on the jig. <laughs> you got one too? Oh, heck yeah, folks. Look at that. Look at that. You, wait, you got him? Big. Biggin? Are you sure it's not? Oh my gosh, that's a freaking tank. You're kidding. Oh my gosh. No, get him, get him, get Oh my gosh. Sucker. <laughs> oh no. He hit it and then he came back for it. Dude, that one was pushing five right yeah. there. Golly. At least we caught the little uh, two and a half pounder. No. <laughs> Look at how we ate that jig though, folks. Jig bite so much when you're throwing the rattle trap around, right? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you hooked him and he wasn't moving. And I was like, okay, that's a good sign. Yeah. It's like either that's a log or a fish. All right, I weigh my, just for fun, guys, is it two? It's going between like two. Yep, yeah, there we go. 2.19 pounder right here. Hit to the yeah on the jig. Jig bite is so much fun. And I will take that any day. 2.19 pounder. We're going to let him go. Your fish was easily twice the size of this one, dude. I'm sorry to see that happen. See you, buddy. Bye. Ooh, ooh. Got him. On oh, the jig, dude, the jig bite is so much fun. I love that noise when it goes, you know what I'm talking about? Holy cow, guys, on the jig, hopping it over here near this uh, near this wall. This is like the deepest pocket of the whole entire pond. I thought I'd give it a go because it is uh, pretty hot out here today. And check that out. Another like fish that looks like, identical to the other one, but you gotta love it when, they, when they're when they eating the jig like that for sure. The jig bite is one of my favorite bites of all time. Hands down, top water's up there, jig bite's up there. Not a lot of stuff beats that, but check that guy out. Little two pounder, I'll take it. Oh geez, I about fell in the mud. See ya, buddy. Oh! Speed cross still doing good after two fish. Oh, that was him. That's a good one, guys. On the jig. God, that is so much fun, dude. Oh. <laughs> we were just talking about moving. Spots here, or walking down on that wall, guys, which we're actually about to do, because we've caught probably seven, eight fish out of this little area, and this big one comes up for it. Heck, yeah, I'm gonna need to retie after that. I can already feel my, feel my line fraying. Look at that, watch. You guys ready for this? Whew. Hooked right in the right spot. We're gonna get the weight on this guy. He's definitely, I think, a three pounder. Dude, they fight so hard out here, dude. And that jig bite just makes it th that much better. All right, folks, the scale is zeroed. Let's see how much this dude weighs here. I think he's definitely three. There we go. Locked on 3.22 hey. 
pounds, folks. That's a freaking good and on the jig. Jig normally gets you those bigger bites, and I mean, heck, that is just so much freaking fun. Fish are beautiful out here, too, dude. They got cool colors. God, you cannot beat that. Reeling a jig all the way up to the shore, and then I'm... Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's a big one. Dude, that is a tank. That is a tank. Is a oh, keep them on, please. Try to not let them jump at all. That is a freaking good bat double up. Are you kidding me? Dude. Oh, I about fell. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's probably bigger than mine. That is bigger than mine. Yeah. Dude. Holy cow. Get him up. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Are you freaking kidding me right now? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Dude, that's close to five. It's probably four something. Here's mine, guys. Smaller than Caleb's for sure. I think he was 3.2 or something like that. We're gonna let him go. Four, six, two. 4.62 pounds, folks. This is a freaking donkey. Show him off to the camera real quick. Oh my goodness. Stuff. That's a big one, bro. Oh, oh, that's him. Oh. We're on, guys. Oh, tank, big in, big in. God dang, dude, how how are we supposed to? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know. Oh, please don't come off. That's a that's bigger than my last one. Oh yeah, that's the same size as mine. That's better than mine. <laughs> Golly, man. You're kidding me. Look at that. Dude, that is a scud. <sighs> Just throwing in that deep pocket, guys. Look at that. That's probably close to four, I'd say. I think it's smaller than yours, but. Do I got the scale in my pocket? Yes, I do. We're going to get a weight on her. Look at this, guys. That little flipping jig. Getting it done. If you guys want this stuff, it's on Carl's Bait Tackle. We'll leave a link down below. You guys can save 30% off on uh, what I'm fishing with today. <laughs> now that I actually have a scale, folks, we're going to keep on weighing these fish. It might get annoying, but I know a lot of you like to... See me weigh the fish because you don't believe me when I say a fish is four pounds. So you guys ready? Watch this. He's going to be right around that four pound range. 4.09. Locked on 4.09 pounds. That's a freaking donkey. Well, heck yeah, folks. A 4.09 pounder. I will take a four pounder any day. And we're catching them left and right out here. Oh, geez. I about slid in the mud slide. I about busted my rear end. See you later, four pounder. God, they are feeding today. I don't know what the deal is. We got a little bit of cooler weather, guys. We're kind of fishing the transition right now. Uh, when it gets cold at night, but still hot during the day, that's when you know the fall transition is happening. It's not necessarily fall fishing, but it's starting to be like fall fishing where those fish are starting to feed and uh, get out of the way that they were eating in summer where they absolutely eat nothing. So this is fun to experience right now. You got him? <gasps> oh, jeez. I'm coming. Ugh. Ugh. All right, guys, Caleb's on with his first fish on the rattle trap. Ugh, I'm running over, buddy. Hey. hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, yeah, they do. They're feeding up on those shad. They get those sharp teeth, especially in the fall. Look at him. He's a, he's a chunky guy, too. Nice, man. Well, that was the first one uh, on the rattle trap, folks. And I'm tying on a rattle trap of my own. Caleb's using a gold one. And uh, I'm going to tie a silver one just to try something different. That was like, spinning reel. Uh huh. Broke off at the reel. Got him. Ooh. Oh. Oh, this might be a big one, guys. Yeah. He's a good one. We're running this way, dude. It's the only way to get him up, probably. Oh, dude, this is like a good one. I'm coming all the way this way. There's no way I can flip him up off of this damn guy. So we got to walk all the way to the end. Oh, there he is. Come on, buddy. Just stay like that. Don't do anything crazy, and we'll be good. <laughs> he just gave up. <laughs> He's not having it. Oh, there we go. Oh, my gosh. He almost spit it, probably, too. <laughs> there we go heck yeah check that out i definitely thought it was bigger not even gonna lie <laughs> all right folks here's my first one on the rattle trap probably good two pounder maybe a little bit bigger they are pretty fat out here eating up on the shad I'm gonna go ahead and let them go you got it buddy there he goes you want a rattle trap all right folks so now me and caleb are on the board both with a rattle trap fish these represent the shad out here so well especially this color with the black on the top silver on the side little red on the lip here makes it look like it's bleeding but now mandy's tying on a rattle trap as well and if she catches a fish on the rattle trap oh my gosh it'll be her first rattle trap fish 
and Caleb's got one. He says it's a good one. Oh, Ooh. Big, big. You might want to start walking that way. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, he didn't. Just pulled off. Oh. No, Caleb. <laughs> you just are not having the luck right now. Dang. Oh, we got him. Dude, that's, this is a tank. If it's a fish, it's not a fish. Literally just caught a sleeping bag. This is, act yeah, that's a sleeping bag. Or a blow up air mattress, something like that. I'm gonna get this thing out of the water. I'm gonna take it down here. Something just blows up on this thing top water. <laughs> the massive air mattress. I can sleep out here bright and early in the morning, come out, sleep in my new sleeping bag and get the top water morning bite going. Caleb's over here hooking in a fish left and right. I hook into a freaking sleeping bag. Oh, you got the, oh, that's the rest of the set right there. Yeah. There we go, we got the pillowcase. And today's late cleanup mission, Caleb's gonna hit get all the bites and we're just gonna hook into all the trash. That makes sense. Ugh, look at that thing. Well, now that is out of the water. Oh, this is not gonna be an easy trail, I do not think. What? For real? Yeah. What type of fishing reels? The loose combo. What the heck? <laughs> Guys, we just found, we were walking in the woods here around this pond, trying to get to a spot where the shatter is cooling, and we just found a tackle box and a ton of fishing combos. How many combos is that, dude? Four? Six fishing combos, holy cow. No way. <laughs> really? We were waiting to see your reaction on it. Look at that, you see the rods and reels behind it? Yeah, I wasn't expecting it to be this like nice of a setup there. Yeah, Have y'all got... looked in it? Uh, not yet, no. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that is freaking crazy. Somebody's watch. Ooh. It's a Rolex. Sick. Oh, I wish. We'd be we'd be all good. I wouldn't have to make videos for a few months if that was the case. <laughs> Alright guys. Dang. Golly. Golly. Some hard baits. That is all the soft plastics you ever need right there. What do you guys think happened here? Do you think that somebody forgot I don't think somebody would forget this much fishing tackle, but you think they were just trying to hide it here in the woods and maybe hope nobody found it? Right. Oh, no clue, dude. This is kind of weird. This is some ID channel stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, there's your choppers. One, two, three, four, five, six fishing combos reels. out here. Rods and reels makes no sense. I've left us. Uh, I've left like a rod and reel at a spot before when I'm like walking around the pond. I'll leave it and I'll come back for it. But I've never left six rods and reels in a tackle box somewhere. And uh, there's nobody else out here fishing besides us. So this doesn't really make a. Uh, all too much sense. Is that a knife? Murder weapon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not want to put this down. Yeah, you might not want to uh, get your prints on that one. What type of knife is that though? Fox knives. Fox knives. That's a pretty big knife. Yeah. Got some oh. Allen wrenches in here. Yeah, there's a ton of wrenches and stuff here. I'm gonna have this knife really quick. Let me know guys if you know what. Is there a darn helicopter in there? No, check this knife out guys. Let me know. If you know how much this knife costs, if this is a good find or if this thing's only five dollars. But normally when like aren't knives this big, normally like bare minimum? Probably. Uh, pretty freaking expensive. Like, I don't know, that's a heavy knife. Like whatever it's made out of, it's made out of solid stuff. Oh, he put the watch on ice on my wrist. <laughs> <laughs> so this Just video is sponsored by Rolex. No, I'm, I'm kidding guys, I'm kidding. But look at this thing. Doesn't work, but maybe you need new batteries, you need to get serviced or something. Okay, so here's a closer look at the watch, guys. If you know what type of watch this is, please comment down below. Uh, if I have a really cool find here or if this thing costs absolutely nothing, it's called Seiko, S-E-I-K-O. Uh, yeah, let me know if you guys know how much this watch has cost, but we got a knife, a watch, a crankbait, which I think is a dollar from Walmart, that type. I got that whole entire Cordell. bag. <laughs> Look, more like jerk baits and stuff like that. I think that's a Rapala, which is actually like, geez, this got to be like 12 bucks, this little guy right here, the one that I'm holding. I don't know how much this guy under it is. A Yozuri? Yozuris are pretty expensive. Here you go, a little Rebel. Ooh. Oh yeah, a little craw. Look at all these. <laughs> Holy, that should be the thumbnail right there. Look at that guys, flukes, worms. I used to have a pile like that, like a tackle box. Just oh yeah, full tackle. I think I still have a bag like that. Yeah, just random soft plastics. Crazy. Was it just right here, Norm? Yeah, well actually, 
Caleb found it. It was like back there in that corner. I walked right past it and then. This wow. thing is sauce. Oh, the double hook. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that is crazy. This guy knows what he's doing. <laughs> oh, geez. Folks, look at how much of these soft plastics are in here. I mean, there's a real hidden under all of them, but look at all these soft plastics. Got you a Sharpie in there? Like handfuls of, these are culprit worms, I'm pretty sure. And there, he's got some zooms, some horny toads. Oh, yeah. Flipper curl tail? I haven't seen those before. Those look a little bit older. Yeah. Oh, yeah, normal rot. Cool, yeah, they are. Look at all these culprit yeah. packs. It's unopened. <laughs> As this is a Bass Pro Shops reel, the logo is right there on the side. If it'll focus, instead of focusing on my face, there we go. A Bass Pro Shop spinning reel in here. Uh, just in the tackle box, it's not even the combos that are sitting here to the side that we found. A ton of soft plastics. I'd say probably... Let me know, guys, how much you think all of this stuff is worth. We found that knife, the watch, which I think are going to be like the two most expensive things. Uh, some lures in there were like $14 a piece. And there's a ton of soft plastics, hooks, weights, basically everything you need for fishing and the tackle box. Let me know how much you guys think that's worth. But now we're going to look at these uh, six rod and reel combos that are laying down here on the ground. We got an Abu out. Garcia right here. Ooh, uh, Abu Garcia. That is, these are all antique, or maybe they've just been out in the sun for like a year. <laughs> yeah. But that is freaking cool. Does it even work? Oh, it works, folks. <laughs> it works. It does not What type not of rod is this? Real. A Zebco Rhino? I've never seen that rod in my whole entire life. If I ain't mistaken. Oh, yeah, look. It's got two. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Oh, another are you looking... Abu Garcia. Another Abu? Yeah. Ooh. Look at all this sauce back here. <laughs> this dude's leaving his whole entire fishing collection out here in the woods. Here's one right here for 81. For $81? Yeah. Oh dang. That looks pretty doggone similar. Yeah. It is. There's it's one the for 40 there. Alright, so I'm grabbing the rest of the rods and reels, folks. So we got this one right here. It's even got like a little what is this? Oh, it doesn't even work. What is that thing? Is that a Texas rig with a worm that's like bitten off? Dude, the bullet head white has eyes. <laughs> really? Swear. That is actually kind of cool. But uh, yeah, we got a Abu Garcia, really old antique rod here. Uh, please don't roast me if it's actually not old, but I haven't seen any of these in stores uh, ever. It's just a really cool kind of build here. It's called a Cardinal GLX Size 3 by Abu Garcia. This rod is a Zebco Rhino. Never even heard of either of those before. Wow, that's a super cool find out here. It's been a little bit used. It's got a <laughs> yeah. little bit of wear and tear, just a little bit. Oh, snap. This is a newer reel. Look at that thing. Oh, jeez. Lose is finding you everywhere. Bro. Oh, yeah. You guys know I'm fishing with those uh, lose rods and reels here, and we got ourselves a lose reel. Not really sure how old this one is. Yeah, so I actually have one of these reels back at my house. Uh, this one has not been treated as nice as I treat mine. But what's, and this is even a different type of rod, which is weird because this reel comes with a rod yeah. and this rod isn't what this reel is on. So, <laughs> no. oh, no. about hit you in the head there, guy. <laughs> what is this? AX Special? Oh, this is a Shimano rod. Really? Yeah. That is freaking cool right there. So lose reel on a Shimano rod right here. <laughs> Could you imagine the guy like runs out, like whoever owns this just Little shows off. Steady. Like, hey, why are you going through my fishing stuff? <laughs> I get in a fight, I get a million views. Anywho. Uh, so we got a Zebco cart or Sentinental. Wait, Centen Centennial. Centennial. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Centennial rod here. Uh, looks like a, what is that, a beaver. What <laughs> just went ham on this thing right here and made a whole entire dam out here. Which actually is probably what's going on over there. That's why those fish are probably biting over yeah. there. It's all that wood, and uh, it probably all came from this rod. And then we also have a a Daiwa reel. Oh yes. Oh, there's another one back there, dude. There's seven of them. Hold up. Oh, you know, I think I have one of these combos too, not even gonna lie, in the red color from Walmart. Yeah, that's 100%, that's a Zebco from Walmart. And I'm pretty sure these bad boys are either 10 or $20, no more than 40. We got the Texas rig worm on this bad boy. Dude, that pole looks metal. Is that an aluminum pole? Yeah, this is a, that's a wood, I think. Is this a wood pole? Feel that. Is that, hey, dang, that has a like really it. weird, wait, it comes, it's like a two piece. This is a Zebco Sport Fisher um, on another, I think this is a, this is a Shakespeare, <laughs> this is a Shakespeare reel this time. Last combo right here, honestly, this reel looks the best out of all the reels that we yeah. kind of found, besides the uh, the loose spinning combo, but the Avosalt 
Mitchell. <clears throat> Never heard of this reel before, ever. I mean, it looks pretty cool, though. Yeah. It's got the blue accents. Looks That's new. Looks, like looks modern here. And, uh, geez, it, I hate it when people do this and they oh, don't no, keep their rods so straight cringe. and it bends. So <laughs> then you ruin guy, your huh? rods. Make sure when you store your rods, to keep them straight. Don't have them bending over. That'll ruin them. Pet peeve of mine. Anywho. Ow, that hurt. Uh, what is this? This is a quantum rod. This dude's set up. Yeah, this guy has hurt. every single brand in the book in his fishing combo here. Uh and the tackle box. All right, folks, we're leaving all the stuff here, all the seven combos, and the tackle box right where we found it. It's hard for me to leave this stuff, uh, but we're gonna do the right thing today. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Whoever's that tackle is right there, I recommend you coming and getting it because people are gonna see this, people know where this spot is, and so somebody might end up taking that that doesn't actually own it. So come out here ASAP. I'm in like a weird situation here where I wanted to show you guys my find that I found, but also me showing you guys means that some people might figure out where that stuff is. So if you own it, one last chance, come grab it before somebody else does. I don't know why. You guys let me know down below in the comment section uh, if you've ever left that much fishing tackle out at your fishing spot before, uh, that is a lot of equipment to just be leaving behind and not taking with you. I've left like a rod one time, I think I've left like a tackle box somewhere one time, but never have I left my whole entire fishing arsenal in the middle of the woods. So, But thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, obviously you enjoyed, so make sure you guys leave a like on this video since you made it this far, and also make sure you guys subscribe so you can see more videos just like this, and hit the bell so you don't miss them. But until the next fishing adventure, guys, fish bump, we're out of here. Thank you